Hello guys, welcome back to our channel where we explore everything from travel, culture and lifestyle. Today we are going to talk about the cost of living in Argentina in 2023. Are you considering moving to Argentina or planning to visit this beautiful country in the near future? If so, it's important to have a clear understanding of the cost of living in Argentina in 2023. Argentina is a unique country with a rich history, culture and stunning landscapes. It is a popular destination for expats, students and travelers alike. However, the cost of living in Argentina can vary greatly depending on where you live and the lifestyle you lead. This video is designed to provide you with a comprehensive guide to the real uh, cost of living in Argentina in 2023. Whether you are planning to move our first chapter is the introduction to living in Argentina in 2023 uh, with a brief history of Argentina, why Argentina is a popular destination for expats and what to expect when moving to Argentina. Well, uh, let's start with the brief history of Argentina. Argentina has a rich and colorful history that stretches back thousands of years. Before European colonization, the area now known as Argentina was inhabited by indigenous people who left behind a legacy of art, architecture and agricultural knowledge. In the 16th century, Spanish explorers arrived in the region and claimed it for their empire. Over the next several centuries, Argentina experienced significant political and economic change, including a revolution in 1816 that established it as an independent nation. Throughout the 20th century, Argentina continued the social and political transformation, including periods of dictatorship and political unrest. However, in recent years, the country has stabilized and it is now one of the most politically and economically stable countries in South America. And well, why Argentina is a popular destination for expats? There are many reasons why Argentina is a popular destination for them. For one, the cost of living in Argentina is significantly lower than in many other Western countries, which can be a major draw for those looking to stretch their budget. Additionally, Argentina is known for its rich cultural heritage with the vibrant arts scene, uh, world-renewed uh, food and wine, and a passion for music and dance. Argentina also boasts uh, breathtaking natural landscapes, including the Andes Mountains, the vast uh, Pampas grasslands, and the even sparring Iguazu Falls. Whether you are an adventure seeker or a lover of nature, there is no shortage of outdoor activities to enjoy in Argentina. And oh well, what to expect when moving to Argentina? Moving to Argentina can be a big adjustment, especially if you're not used to the lan language and culture. However, with a little preparation, you can make the transition uh, in a smooth one. One of the first things you'll need to do is a bit uh, learn Spanish. While some people in Argentina do speak English, it's not uh, as common as in other countries. So being able to communicate in Spanish is very essential. You can start learning before you move by taking a course or hiring a private tutor and then continue your studies once you are in the country. Another thing to keep in mind is that the pace of life in Argentina can be slower than, than you are used to. This can take some getting used to, but it's also one of the things that may expect to appreciate about the country. Uh, take time to savour your meals, enjoy a uh, stroll through a park uh, or simply take in the sights and sounds of your new surroundings. When it comes to finding a place to live, Buenos Aires is a popular destination for expats, but there is also plenty of other cities and towns to choose from. The cost of living can vary depending on where you are, but overall it's still relatively affordable compared to many other parts of the world. In terms of healthcare, uh, Argentina has a public healthcare system that is available to all residents 
as well as private healthcare options. It is important to have health insurance in case of emergencies, but overall, healthcare in Argentina is considered to be a good quality. The second chapter, cost of accommodation in Argentina. When planning to move to Argentina, one of the most important things to consider is the cost of the accommodation. The good news is that there are a variety of housing options available to suit different budgets and preferences. In this part, we will take a closer look at the different types of housing options available, the cost of buying versus renting a house, and the best neighborhoods to live in in their respective costs. Different types of housing options available, whether you are looking uh, for a spacious house or a cozy apartment, Argentina has a wide range of housing options to choose from. Some of them, most popular types of housing options available include apartments, houses and condominiums. Apartments are the most common type of housing in Argentina, especially in cities like Buenos Aires. They come in a variety of sizes and styles, from studio apartments to a larger multi-rooms units. Most apartments in Argentina come fully furnished and include all necessary utilities. Houses are also available in Argentina, with uh, many being located in the gates, communi communities or neighborhoods with 24-hour security. Some of the benefits of living in a house include having more space and privacy, as well as a yard or garden. Keep in mind that houses tend to be more expensive than apartments, both in terms of rent and maintenance costs. Condominiums, also known as condos, are a hybrid of apartments and houses. They offer the privacy and space of a house with the convenience of an apartment. Condos are usually uh, located in buildings with uh, shared amenities like a swimming pool, gym and 24-hour security. Cost of living uh, and versus renting a house. Uh, deciding whether to rent or buy a house in Argentina is a big uh, decision that will have a significant impact on your finances. While buying a house may seem like a good investment in the long run, it requires a significant amount of money upfront, including a down payment and closing costs. Renting, on the other hand, requires less upfront investment, but you won't be uh, building equity in a property. And in terms of the costs, uh, renting is generally cheaper than buying a house in Argentina, obviously. The cost of renting a, an apartment in Buenos Aires can range from around $500 to $1,500 per month, depending on the size, location and amenities. Renting a house can be more expensive with prices ranges from $1,000 to $5,000 per month or more, depending on the size and location. If you decide to buy a house in Argentina, keep in mind that uh, the process can be complex, especially for foreigners. If you will need to work with a real um, estate agent, uh, a lawyer and a notably public to complete the transaction. Additionally, property taxes and maintenance costs can be high, so make sure to budget that accordingly. Uh, best neighborhoods to live uh, and their respective costs. When it comes to choosing a neighborhood to live in, there are several factors to consider, including safety, proximity to amenities and overall quality of life. Here are some of the best neighborhoods to live in Argentina and their respective costs. First is uh, Palermo, located in Buenos Aires. Palermo is a trendy neighborhood with plenty of restaurants, cafes and parks. The cost of renting uh, a one-bedroom apartment in Palermo ranges from around $800 to $1,200 per month. The second is uh, Recoleta, another neighborhood in Buenos Aires. Recoleta is known for its upscale shops, restaurants and historic landmarks. The cost of renting uh, a one-bedroom apartment in a Recoleta ranges from around uh, $900 or uh, $1,500 per month. Uh, dollars, yeah. and the third is uh, Barrio Norte, uh, a residential neighborhood located also in Buenos Aires. Barrio Norte is known for its uh, 
leafy streets, historical architecture, and proximity to universities. The cost of renting uh, a one-bedroom apartment there uh, is like uh, $900 or $1,000 per month. Chapter 3. Cost of food and drinks in Argentina. When it comes to cuisine, Argentina has a lot to offer. With its famous steak and wine, asado and malbec, the country's food and drink scene is renowned worldwide. However, living in Argentina also means keeping a close eye on your expenses, and food and drink costs are no exception. Eating out in Argentina can be an affordable experience if you know where to go. Generally, restaurants in Argentina are divided into three categories, basic, mid-range and high-end. Basic restaurants are affordable, with meals averaging around $10-$15 per person. Mid-range restaurants are slightly more expensive, with meals uh, ranging from $20-$40 per person. Dollars. And high-end restaurants can cost upwards of $50 per person, but they offer a fine uh, dining experience that is uh, hard to beat. If you prefer to cook your meals at home, Grocery shopping in Argentina can be both affordable and enjoyable. Supermarkets uh, such as Coto and Carrefour offer a wide range of products at reasonable prices. For those uh, on a budget, it worth exploring local markets such as Feria, the Metaderos, uh, where you can find fresh pr produce and uh, meats uh, at low prices. Chapter 4. Cost of transportation in Argentina. Argentina's transportation system is reliable and affordable. Buses, subways and trains are the most common modes of transport, which fares ranging from $0.50 cents to $1.50 depending on the distance and mode of transport. Taxis and ride-sharing services such as Uber are also available, but prices vary depending on the location and time of day. Owning and maintaining a car in Argentina can be more expensive due to high import tariffs and taxes on gasoline. However, if you decide to purchase a car, it's essential to have an insurance which can cost around $50-$100 per month. Additionally, there are other expenses to consider such as tolls and parking fees. The second chapter is uh, cost of education in Argentina. Argentina's education system is well respected and offers affordable options for both locals and international students. Public schools in Argentina are free, but private schools can, can cost anywhere from $150 to $800 per month, depending on the location and the level of education. For international students, Argentina offers a range of scholarship opportunities, including the Fulbright program and the Argentine Government Scholarship Program. These programs uh, provide financial aid uh, for tuition and living expenses, making it possible for international students to study in Argentina without breaking the bank. Second chapter is the cost of healthcare in Argentina. Argentina has a well-developed healthcare system, and the country is known for its providing high-quality medical care at affordable prices. In this chapter, we will explore the cost of healthcare in Argentina and the options available for experts. Uh, the public healthcare system in Argentina is free for all citizens and legal residents. However, the waiting times can be long, and the quality of service may vary depending on the region. The public healthcare system is a good option for routine checkups and non-emergency medical care. On the other hand, the private healthcare sector provides better and faster medical care, but the cost is significantly higher. The cost of private healthcare services varies depending on the hospital, the doctor, and the type of medical service required. A consultation with a specialist in a private hospital can cost around $50 to $150. Also, about the health insurance options available for experts. Experts in Argentina have the option to purchase private health insurance to access the private healthcare sector. There are many private health insurance companies in Argentina and the cost of health insurance varies depending on the level of coverage required. Uh, the experts who plan to stay in Argentina for an extended period should consider purchasing private health, health insurance. Private health insurance provides access to private hospitals 
in medical care, which can be significantly better than the public uh, healthcare system. Next, we're gonna talk about the cost of uh, entertainment in Argentina. Argentina is a vibrant and exciting country with a thriving entertainment scene. In this chapter, we will explore the cost of entertainment in Argentina and the options available for expats. Argentina is famous for its tango music and dance, which is a significant part of the country's culture. Apart from tango, Argentina uh, has a thriving music and cinema industry, and the country hosts many international music and film festivals. Argentina is home to many world-famous tourist attractions, such as Iguazu Falls, the Perito Moreno Glacier, and the Aconcagua Mountain. The cost of visiting uh, these tourist attractions vary depending on the location and the time of the year. For instance, the en entrance fee uh, to the Iguazu Falls National Park is around $30 for international visitors. Uh, the cost of visiting of the glacier is around $35 uh, yeah. Yeah, for the visitors. Also about the leisure activities. Argentina has a vibrant and varied leisure scene. The cost of leisure activities varies depending on the activity and location. For example, uh, cinema tickets in Buenos Aires can cost around $6, while a ticket to a local football match can cost around $15. Sports and outdoor activities are also popular in Argentina. Golf, uh, tennis and polo are popular sports in the country and the cost of playing these sports varies uh, depending on the club and the location. Next we're gonna talk about the cost of utilities in Argentina. When it comes to the cost of utilities in Argentina, it is important to know that prices can vary significantly depending on the region and the type of property. Generally speaking, utilities such as electricity, gas and water tend to be quite affordable, particularly when compared to other countries in the region. Uh, the cost of electricity in Argentina is generally calculated uh, based on the amount of uh, power consumed uh, with prices varying between different providers. On average, a typical household can expect to pay around uh, 2,000 uh, Argentinian peso, around $20 per month for electricity. Similarly, the cost of gas uh, can vary depending on the type of uh, property and usage, but on average, it tends to be uh, quite affordable. A typical household can expect to pay like uh, 1,500 uh, Argentinian peso, like around $15 per month for gas. Water is another utility that tends to be quite affordable in Argentina with a typical household paying around 500 Argentinian peso, around $5 per month. It is worth noting that some properties may have to pay extra fees for wastewater treatment. In terms of the internet and phone services, Argentina has a well-developed telecommunication infrastructure with a range of providers offering various packages and plans. Prices for internet and phone services can vary significantly depending on the provider and the type of plan, but generally speaking, they tend to be quite affordable. For example, a basic internet plan can cost as little as $5 per month, while a more comprehensive plan with faster speeds can cost upwards of $20 per month. Phone plans are similar affordable, with basic plans starting at around $3 per month. And when it comes to house calls, uh, supplies and maintenance prices can uh, vary depending on the uh, brand and the quality of the products. Generally speaking, basic household supplies such as cleaning products and uh, uh, other things like they tend to be quite affordable with prices similar to those found in other countries in the region. Maintaining services such as plumbing and electrical work uh, can also be quite affordable with many uh, skilled uh, people available for hire. And let's talk about cost of taxes in Argentina. Like many countries, Argentina has a complex tax system that can be difficult to navigate for both residents and expats. The country's tax system is administrated by the National Tax Administration, which oversees the collection of various taxes at the federal, provincial and municipal levels. 
For individuals, the primary tax that must be paid is income tax, which is calculated on a progressive scale based on income. As 2023, the income tax rate in Argentina ranges from 5 to 35%, with higher rates applied to higher income brackets. In addition to income tax, there are a number of other taxes that might be uh, applicable depending on the individual circumstances. For example, property tax is charged on real estate properties, while sales tax is charged on goods and services. For expats, it is important to know that they may be subject to different tax rules depending on their residency status and the length of their stay in Argentina. Generally speaking, expats who are considered tax residents of Argentina will be subject to the same tax rules as Argentine citizens, while non-residents may only be taxed on income earned within the country. There are a number of uh, deductions and exemptions available for individuals and businesses in Argentina, which can help to reduce the overall tax burden. It is recommended that individuals consult with a qualified tax professional to ensure their compliance with uh, local tax laws and to take advantage of any available deductions and exemptions. Let's talk about uh, cost of traveling in Argentina. Argentina is a vast country with diverse landscapes and cultures and it's easy to get around thanks to its uh, well-developed transportation system. Whether you want to explore uh, the great capital of Buenos Aires, the natural wonders of Patagonia or vineyards of uh, Mendoza, there are various uh, modes of transportation available to suit different budgets and preferences. Let's overview the Argentina's transportation system. The primary mode of transportation in Argentina is buses, which connect most cities and towns throughout the country. There are also several train routes, also the system is not uh, as, an, as extensive as uh, in other countries. For those who prefer air travel, there are numerous domestic flights available with several airlines offering uh, frequent services. Taxis and ride-sharing services such as Uber and Cabify are widely available in major cities. Uh, the cost of domestic travel in Argentina varies depending on the mode of transportation and distance traveled. Bus fares are relatively affordable, uh, with prices starting from around 60 cents for short distances and increasing for around $18 for longer journeys. Train fares are generally cheaper than buses, with prices starting from around $0.30 cents, uh, for short journeys. Domestic flights are more expensive, with prices starting around $36 for a one-way trip between Buenos Aires and popular tourist destinations such as Bariloche or Iguazu Falls. Also, cost of traveling uh, to neighborhood countries. Well, Argentina shares borders with several neighborhood countries, including Brazil, Uruguay, Chile, Paraguay, and Bolivia, make it a it, uh, uh, nice starting point for exploring South America. The cost of traveling to these countries varies depending on the destination and mode of transportation. Bus travel is the most affordable option, uh, with prices starting around $18. Uh, for a one-way trip to uh, Uruguay and increasing around $60 for a trip to, for example, Santiago, Chile. Flights are generally more expensive with prices starting from around uh, $120 for a round-trip ticket to Brazil or Uruguay and increasing to around uh, $240 for a round-trip ticket to Chile. Also, let's talk about uh, tips for saving money in Argentina. Argentina is a country where it is possible to live on a budget without sacrificing the quality of life. Here are some tips for saving money while living uh, or traveling in Argentina. Budgeting and managing expenses. The first step for saving money in Argentina is to create a budget and track your expenses. This will help you identify areas where you can cut costs and prioritize uh, your spending. You can also take advantage of mobile apps such as Fintonic 
or mi presupuesto to check your expenses and manage your budget. Negotiating uh, prices and deals. In Argentina, it is common to negotiate prices and deals, especially in markets and informal settings. When shopping uh, for souvenirs or other goods, it is worth trying to uh, haggle and see if you can get a better price. You can also look out for promotion and discounts in the supermarkets and other stores. Also, there are many ways to find affordable alternatives for everyday expenses in Argentina. For example, instead of eating out at an expensive restaurant, you can uh, opt for affordable lunch deals or cook your meal at home. You can also take advantage of free cultural events and activities such as concerts and exhibitions and explore the city on foot or by bike instead of taking taxis. And lastly, let's talk about cultural differences and custom in Argentina. Argentina is a country with a rich and diverse culture that blends European and Latin American traditions. Argentinian customs can be unique and different from what visitors may be uh, accustomed to. Here are some things to keep in mind when adapting to Argentinian culture. First, greetings. When meeting someone uh, for the first time, it is nice to greet them with a kiss on the cheek, even if they are a stranger. It is also common to greet uh, friends and family with hug and kiss on the cheek. Second, mealtime. Argentinians are known for their love of food and mealtime is a social event. It is common for people to linger over a meal and dinner may not be started until 9 or 10 pm. It is also uh, nice to take a siesta or nap after lunch. Third, mate. mate is a traditional Argentinian uh, drink uh, that is a type of tea made from the leaves of the yerba made plant. It is a social drink that is passed around um, in a gourd and uh, sipped through a metal straw called a bombilla. Uh, yeah, food, football, football or soccer is a big part of Argentinian culture and many people are passionate about the sport. Attending a football match can be a thrilling experience, but it's important to be aware of potential safety risk. Also, dress code. Uh, Argentinians tend to dress well and take pride in their appearance. It is a good idea to dress uh, ne neatly and like nice, especially when visiting more formal uh, settings like restaurants or theaters. Uh, safety and security in Argentina. Well, Argentina is generally a safe country, but there are risks uh, that visitors should take to ensure their safety. Here are some things to keep in mind. Crime. Uh, thief and pickpocketing are the most common crimes in Argentina, especially in tourist areas. Visitors should take care to secure their valuable uh, and be aware of their surroundings. Demonstration. Argentina has a history of political and social unrest and demonstrations can occur unexpectedly. Visitors should avoid large crowds and demonstrations and stay informed of any political developments. Uh, third, it's uh, natural disasters. Argentina is uh, prone to natural disasters, including earthquakes and floods. Visitors should be aware of any potential risks and take, uh, uh, like, they, 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 they should be aware when, when traveling mm, to uh, affected areas. Transportation. While the transportation system in Argentina is generally safe, the visitors should be cautious uh, when using taxis or public transportation, especially at night. It is recommended to use licensed taxis and ride-sharing services and avoid flagging down taxis on the street. Uh, by being aware of cultural differences and taking uh, precautions uh, to ensure their safety, visitors can enjoy all that Argentina has to offer without incident. To wrap up, Argentina is a great destination for those looking for an affordable lifestyle. With its rich culture, delicious food and friendly people, it's no wonder so many people choose to call it home. If you're thinking about moving or traveling to Argentina, we hope this video has been helpful for you. Remember uh, to factor in your own personal expenses and lifestyle preferences when budgeting. Thank you for watching 
and we'll see you in the next video.